paying attention, and uh, and I'm giving a special alert, man. This is this is what they've been talking about. This is what they are saying. You know, here in the United States, really, it's going to be black people who really should get it first, and many indigenous people, um, as well as people with underlying symptoms, and then elderly people. They're the ones who all deserve to get that vaccine first. Animal testing is a must for any... They are wanting to give the vaccine to minorities first, and this is why they've been pushing uh, this census down everybody's throat this year, making sure everybody fills out the census so they can get the kind data. Listen to what this guy says. This is the governor of the state of New York. Listen to what he says. Did the research in New York City because that's where we have the predominance of cases, but it is going to be true in every community across this state and across this nation. You tell me the zip codes that have the predominantly minority community lower income community, I will tell you the communities where you're going to have a higher positive and you're going to have increased spread and you're going to have increased hospitalization. Black people ought to get the vaccine first. The governor of the state of New York saying, you tell me all across this nation, red alert, the zip codes that have predominantly minority communities, low-income communities, and I'll tell you where you're going to have the most COVID cases, etc. And so I am directing all local governments to test in low-income communities. And he just said minority communities. He's saying that's where you need to focus your testing. Now, listen to this. I want you guys to understand this, man. You know, and everybody's been saying, well, we're not racist, we're not racist. All right, put your money where your mouth is, you know. Don't, I'm trying to give a warning here. I want you guys to see this. Look at what this guy with Trump says, okay? Listen to this, okay? This is, this is the president of the United States. Thank you. Listen to this. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. President. And I didn't develop the plan. I'm just relaying information here. Um, but uh, this is a plan that's a 57-page document that was sent to every state today, and there's a uh, different uh, part of this that was given to Congress today. Uh, it was released by HHS. It's on the website, and in fact, I thought it was covered actually by the media, so I don't think it's a surprise, but it's a comprehensive plan. Uh, it's a public-private partnership uh, to get uh, everything done in terms of logistics. Uh, the IT that's necessary to yes. trace the first dose because some of these vaccines are anticipated to be two doses. Uh, there's tailoring, of course, by the states and their yes. specifics, and there's an administration of the vaccine plan that will be done in over 51,000 outlets, including uh, 51,000 outlets to be administering vaccine. Listen to this. For particular attention to minority areas, particularly paying attention to minority areas. Now watch Trump's reaction after he says that. Over 14,000 uh, federally qualified health centers. And as the president just said, within the first 24 hours of- Within the first 24 hours, man. The FDA's approval under an emergency use, uh, we will have vaccines being delivered within the first 24 hours. So, vaccines being delivered, particular attention to minority communities. We just heard Melinda Gates say black people ought to get the vaccine first. They're focusing on minority communities. This is the, the freaking president of the United States here. Within 24 operation warp speed, where he's going to use the military to deliver this vaccine and he says that it should be ready he thinks by november the third or around that date some are even saying october i'm trying to give a warning here man and this is not just in the united states you know they're focusing in on low income or minority communities elsewhere as well 
that I'm particularly giving this warning to people in the United States. The freaking military, man. They are, Trump says the military is ready to deliver the vaccines across this nation within 24 hours of it being released by the FDA, approved by the FDA. And they are saying, listen, man, this is so serious, guys. I'm going to tell you, man, we just don't understand the magnitude of what's going on. Look at this. Listen to what she says. Really, it's going to be black people. If we can use that data, then we know to say, okay, this is where we need to make sure we apply the resources and, quite honestly, apply the vaccine first. The vaccine. The data she's talking about is the data that they gather with the census, the the uh, the the question proposed was, why do you need the aggregated data? Listen, listen to this. A when, not an if. And with that in mind, um, our, oh, next sorry. big when. Listen to this. That is going to be really, really important and continue to be important through the fall when we see this next big wave of this epidemic. So this is the, and the epidemic is just the friggin' flu and the cold. This was recorded, I don't know, I put this out in July. So now we're in October. Now the fall has set in. The fall began September 22nd. And so they're letting you know ahead of time, this fall there's going to be another huge wave yeah, they were talking about that from like the beginning of this, like, oh, what's going to happen in the fall? La la la, flu and cold. Blah 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 blah. Big wave of this epidemic. So they're letting you know ahead of time, man. They're planning for the fall. That's when the big wave is coming. That's when Trump's saying the vaccine ought to be released. Oh, and then within 24 hours, they're going to deliver it and special attention on the minority communities. And black people ought to get the vaccine first. And, you know, everybody fill out your census, which they're going to ask you about your race. Date of birth and age, Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish origin, and race. That was the official official uh, website, government website, for the census. One day, Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready. 